appreciate it. All right, good evening, everybody. Appreciate the opportunity to present this year's Jim Muzzy Scholastic Achievement Award. In the couple of years I've been with WHBC, you'll learn a lot about history. Coaches, athletic directors, and especially Pam Cook, working with her in the morning. Uh, there's a lot to learn. Many years, 79 years WHBC has been doing this, going back to 1944. 1944, coaches wore a suit and tie, a fedora, and dress shoes. Now, uh, a light pullover, maybe some Jordans, maybe some Air Maxes from the coaches on the sidelines now. When players scored, they high five, maybe put each other on, on shoulders. Now they hit the squabble. If you don't know what the squabble is, uh, that's part of the next generation's history. <laughs> history is important, and I'm very confident that the young history and take it forward. Jim Muzzy is the man who started this banquet in 1944. The Jim Muzzy Scholastic Achievement Award is given to a player who excels in the classroom and within the community in which he lives. The winner, who is nominated by his coach, is an academic superstar who has learned to balance schoolwork with football. This year's winner, it's hard to even fit, excuse me, it's hard to even fit into the short amount of time that we have all of his accomplishments. But you should know, he will graduate in May of 2024, and when he does, he will have already completed 47 college credit hours and two associate's degree. His GPA is 4.7. Also in the running for the 2023 All-America Scholar Athlete Team. This team will consist of the top 25 scholar athletes from across the country. He's the captain of his football team and a member of the National Honor Society. This year's Jim Muzzy Scholastic Achievement Award goes to Keaton Rohde, Kent McKinley High School. Good evening. I uh, want to start off by just thanking all the individuals that nominated me for this award and it's much appreciated. And I want to thank God, my family, my friends, my teammates, my coaches, and WHBC. I've always had a love for the game of football since I was very little, but as we all sit in this room today, we also need to prepare ourselves for what shall be next outside of football. Whether you go on to play another year, another four years, or another ten years, what happens after the game is done for you? As players, we all know that we are a snap away from a possible career-ending injury that can take away this great game from us at any time, which is why our academics need to be such important to us. We have to have a plan B, and that has always been a large focus for me, to continue to play football for as long as I can at the highest level I can, but also be academically prepared and sound to take me to where my next chapter in life may take me outside of football. Anyone who knows me will tell you I'm about as competitive as it comes, but for me that applies to both school and football. I believe in focusing on and trying to give 100% dedication not only on the field, but in the classroom. I wish everyone in this room, whether you're moving to the next chapters of your life or outside of high school, or you're continuing to your next few years in high school, the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank well done. Congratulations, uh, Keaton. Well done. Wow, two degrees already. <laughs> that blows me away. All right, time now here this evening uh, to.